Ivermectin is approved by the FDA um, as an oral medication for certain kinds of uh, parasitic infections, including strongyloides and other kinds of uh, topical uh, infections um, like head lice or rosacea. Uh, people have been using it, and they've been using it considerably for COVID-19. Um, this is really not indicated, not endorsed by the FDA, and dangerous. There are studies that have been performed that evaluate whether or not ivermectin is helpful for the purposes of treating COVID-19, and these studies have not indicated any benefit. The number of prescriptions for ivermectin have increased by tens of thousands within the United States, and along with those increased number of prescriptions, there has also been an increase in the number of calls to poison centers that have been related to ivermectin poisoning. Ivermectin, usually, when taken as prescribed for appropriate indications, is safe and well tolerated, but people are not taking it like that for COVID-19. And for that reason, uh, we're noticing uh, folks that are presenting to uh, acute care areas like urgent cares and emergency departments with signs and symptoms that are consistent with ivermectin toxicity. Even when taken in therapeutic doses, ivermectin is often associated with gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. But when taken in overdose, it's also associated with a whole range of central nervous system effects as well. Things like uh, alterations in your mental status, confusion, delirium, hallucinations, seizures, coma, and even death. So this medication is not benign and it has not been approved for the use of the uh, in the treatment of COVID-19. The things that have been approved and the things that you should really be considering are uh, hand washing, making sure you're wearing a mask, and of course, getting the COVID-19 vaccination.